Greetings, mathematicians. We are going into the second part of uh, unit four, lesson one. Today, we're gonna be looking at powers of 10. And I'm on page 34L and 34R of my notebook. All right, here we go. Three, wow, cupcakes, here we go. Unit four, lesson one dash two, powers of 10. We just have a couple of more things to identify. Let's look at our objective. It looks like I made a couple of mistakes there, some white out. I will identify exponents and calculate the value of exponents. So let's break it down. I will identify. So this is gonna be another one where we're gonna have to look closely. And I will define exponent for you in a moment. Calculate, that means I'm gonna to have to do some math. The value, what is its value? What is its worth? This whole unit really lends well to money. And again, we're going back to that key term exponent. So read it once with me, I will identify exponents and calculate the value of Exponents. All right, let's take a look at our vocab term here. And this one is going to be a visual definition. I'm certain you've seen this before. You've seen a number with another number hanging out in the upper right. It's usually a little number. So we have two words we have to go through. Say with me, base. All right, the bigger number is the base. So our base, I'm gonna put a pink box around it so we know that is the base, our base. The exponent is the little number. So I'm gonna color code this green. So we've got the exponent. So what does that really mean? So if we were gonna say this, we would say the name of the base. So I would say 10 and then I look at the number I'd say 10 to the third power. Try it, 10 to the third power. Sometimes if this is the number two, instead of to the second power, you, you might say 10 squared, like we often do when we're talking about area. Uh, another version of three would be cubed. So we'd say 10 cubed but we can always say 10 to the, and then the number for the power. All right, but what is this, what does 10 to the third power mean? So I can identify it, I can see this, this is an exponent. This is what it means. 10 to the third power is saying 10 as my base times 10 times 10. So let's work it out. 10 times 10, 100, times 10, put another zero on there, we get 1,000. So I can write 1,000, or I can simply show it as an exponent of 10 to the third power. Now, take a look. I have the number 10, I have a cube or a three here, how many zeros I end up with in my answer. That's going to be one visual way to figure, figure out what the exponent ends up being. If it's either, if it's a 10, we're going to look to how many in the exponent or the power of, and then we can actually just plop them right behind the one. Awesome. So let's look at another example, and we're going to stick with the number 10 for now. Hmm. Let's go 10 to the one. So my base is 10. I'm saying, I'm saying 10 one time. So it's simply 10. Let's do the next one. 10 to the second power or 10 squared would simply be 10 two times. Now don't confuse yourself. 10 times two is 20. 10 times 10 is a much bigger value. 10 times 10 is equal to 100. All right, let's go even greater. Let's go to the third power here. So if my 
base is 10. I'm going to come through and the base will be 10 times 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. Now, another visual cue we can look at with these numbers are when I'm 10 to the 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. 10 to the 2, 1, 0, 2 zeros, 2 zeros. 10 to the 3, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3 zeros. There are visual identifications you can make to help figure out what these exponents are actually valued at. Now you also might see an expression with an exponent. So read it with me, five times 10 squared. So really we could rewrite this as five. So times 10 to the 10 would be times 10 times 10. And that's the same as saying five times, let's pull those together, 10 times 10 is 100. Five times 100. Five times one with two zeros behind it, 500. Let's work out the next one. Nine times 10 to the three. Nine times, I need three tens. And I could pull all three down. 10 times 10 times 10 is nine times 1,000. Look at your digits. Nine times one is nine. And then we can just plop those zeros behind it and end up with 9,000. All right, my friends, you will see more that looks like this. All right, friends, have a great day.